Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. One of the reasons I make these videos is I want to give you guys an appreciation for what it's like to have these animals and just how beautiful they are, you know, what the feeling is like when I'm handling them and how beautiful the scales are, things like that. And I know it's impossible through a video, but one limitation is most of the shots I'm taking are pretty far away. So I thought today I'd try to get some close-up footage of some of my most beautiful holdback animals from the last few years. Just to give you guys an idea of what these animals look like up close and maybe give you a little bit more of a hands-on experience with what it's like to have these boas. If you find this video helpful or you just like to look at beautiful snakes, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos about all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. Have a look at this beautiful Suriname boa. This is a four-year-old male. This is from the Prometheus bloodline. I really love the head on this guy. It's just got such beautiful colors and markings to it. Let's see if we can get him to cooperate a little bit. But you can see his saddles. Look at those beautiful symmetrical saddles. And I love the markings between the saddles of this guy. He's kind of got that wild look. And then you gotta take a quick close-up of his tail. And look at that tail. That's just ridiculous. Look how long and red that is. And look at the contrast between the red and the black and the creamy white. Just a gorgeous top-notch example of a Suriname true red tail boa. Let me show you his head one more time. Just an awesome animal. This guy might be ready to breed next year. I'm not sure if I have a female I'm, I will have for ready to pair this guy up with but if not next year maybe the year after but just a beautiful animal I'm looking forward to getting some offspring from this guy but hopefully this gives you a better appreciation of how this animal looks up close and personal here's a beautiful pearl island boa boa constrictor saboge this is a female that was born here last year so she's a year old now just love the patternless body of this animal really cool look and I love how they have a few saddles towards the tail the color of the tail is this almost indescribable orangey brown color just a gorgeous looking animal and this is one of those animals it's you know a picture is worth a thousand words and hopefully a video like this is worth a million words but you can see this almost indescribable beautiful I don't know if that's burnt umber or some kind of orangey brown color, but it's just gorgeous. And then another thing I like about these Pearl Island boas, looking close up, is the shape of the head. These Pearl Island boas have such a cool head shape. It's kind of a elongated but with slightly flared nostrils. And then look at those really prominent eyes that they have. I just love the shapes of the head of these guys. These are probably the most divergent of the different boa constrictors, and they were actually originally described as Epicrates saboge back around 100 years ago, and they were reclassified as a boa constrictor subspecies about halfway through the 20th century. But this goes to show that just because you know people think to understand the taxonomy, it's constantly changing and. Who knows what people will think of the evolutionary and you know phylogenetic relationships between boa constrictors a hundred years from now but we can just enjoy them and there's another close-up of her body we'll let you i'll we'll let her just kind of slither through the frame there so you get an appreciation of just how beautiful this animal is boa constrictor saboge the pearl island boa next this is a tarahumara mountain boa this guy is a two-year-old male, and you can see Tarahumar don't really move around as much as some of the other subspecies, or localities, I should say, of boa. So hopefully he'll cooperate for us. This guy, I particularly like his pattern. You can see he's got these great circles down his back. This guy has a lot of color, a lot of pink and orangey tones to him. You can see the dark head markings that are synonymous with the Tarahumara boas. And you can see the small size. This guy, even at two years old, is still pretty tiny, maybe not quite three feet long. 
but just a beautiful animal. These Tarahumara are one of my favorite locality boas. You know, I love their spunky little personalities. They do hiss a little bit. I thought maybe he would hiss for this video, but he doesn't seem to want to hiss. He just is kind of chilling out there. Cool, really cool boa. Okay, so I zoomed in a bit on the Tarahumara. So you can get an appreciation of how he looks up close. And he's really showing you the behavior. These guys don't really move around a whole lot. Just a cool bow. It's always fascinating the differences in behavior between different localities. Uh, but this guy is pretty typical for a Tarahumara boa. Here's a beautiful year-old Hog Island boa. This is a holdback male from last year, from 2019. You can see the beautiful colors he's got, all the orange and pinkish tones, as well as a little bit of a greenish appearance to his sides. And what I like about this guy, you can see all the speckling he's got. This is very typical of the wild hog island boas. They have the speckling. And some people have bred out the speckling from their hog island boas in captivity. But I think it's important to retain that wild look. So this guy, normally they move around quite a bit. This guy, he's kind of cooperating, which is good. They're not quite as sedentary as the Tarahumara. I'll just give you a look at his sides there. And you can see his beautiful head markings as well as his tail markings. So hopefully that will give you an appreciation of what these high island boas look like up close. Here's a three-year-old sub-adult crawl key female. One thing that is kind of hard to get an appreciation for in pictures is the beautiful lilac purplish tone that these animals have. So overall they have a grayish steel gray color but see that pinkish lilac color on their sides? It's really beautiful uh, part of these crawl key boas. It's often overlooked. This animal is about three feet long and you can see all of the cool head markings she's got. They call key boas, as you see, all, well, we typically have this beautiful, clean belly. Let me zoom in a bit here. There's a close-up shot of the side and the scalation on this call key boa. Let me show you her head. She'll hold still here. You can see all the head markings there. And this animal has some partial striping towards the tail. You can see the saddles get a little less organized and they just have this, not really a stripe, but it's kind of irregular. A real cool animal. I love the muscles on these guys and they just have a really good feel as they're in your hand and you can feel their muscles going through your finger, the call key. For our next contestant, I thought I'd show you this two-year-old hunter and firebelly boa that was born here. And what I really love about these guys is look at these eyes. They just have the greatest eyes. They have these really large reddish-brown eyes. Just really beautiful animals. So of course they're known for their bright colored belly, which you can't really see. I'm just kind of turn her over. You can see the orangish reddish belly coloration that distinguishes this particular type of boa and these are really cool boas the head shape is really short and really short compact head with a very uh, compact snout very characteristic of honduran boas in general i'll show you a close-up of the head look at the shape of the head on this animal. It's a very short compact head. And then look how, look how prominent these eyes are. They just kind of bulge out but they're this beautiful orangish brown color. It's a really cool looking boa, the hunter and fire belly boa. Of course they're known for their 
belly coloration, but the shape of the head and the shape of the body is definitely really cool too. Thought I'd get out one more Suriname. This is a 2018 pullback female. And you can see she's got this beautiful classic peaked look. Her head, you can see these really cool markings, some eyelash markings, and I, I love the smudges that they have on their heads. And then I'll show you her tail, just this long, beautiful red tail. Can't beat the look of a classic Suriname red tail, just your epitome of a true red tail boa. And look at that head up close. It's those head markings I was telling you about. They have the coolest little smudges and eyelash markings. This female, you can see just two smaller little eyelash markings. Sometimes they have more than that. But this one has some really nice smudges. She doesn't want to sit still, of course. But you now you can see close up of her saddles and you can see her beautiful red tail there. Just a nice classic looking Suriname true red tail boa. Thought I'd get out one more animal to get some close-up footage. This is a five-year-old, almost adult, Pacalpa Peruvian female. Hopefully I can show you guys her head because she's got some beautiful eyelash markings. And I love the shape of the head of this animal. This classic red-shaped head seen in the true red tails, but especially so in the best of the Peruvian specimens like this one. You can see she's not cooperating too much, but hopefully you get an appreciation for just how beautiful her scalation and markings are. This animal, you can definitely tell how muscular it is. Let's see if I can get her back up on my little platform here. I'll just kind of let her do her thing because these large boas are just, you really can't control them. If they don't want to sit still, they're not going to sit still. But you can see just how beautiful her markings are. I love when the saddles get towards the tail, they start to take on this reddish hue. And then of course the tail saddles have a much redder coloration. Just love the symmetry of the tail in this animal. It's just amazingly perfect. I'll try to show you her belly. This animal has a beautiful, highly speckled belly. She's just not cooperating. But I think you get a pretty good appreciation for what this animal looks like up close and just how beautiful it is. Definitely one of my favorite boas. One of the hundreds I've said are my favorite boas. Pacalpa Peruvian female. So there you have it. That's some close-up footage of some of my whole back locality boas. I hope you got an appreciation for what these animals look like up close. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.